When it's put in practice, you start to discriminate people based on race. So we're now south of the Mason-Dixon line in North Carolina. We did a lot of work to get rid of segregation in this country. Why are you trying to bring it back? What work? Um, the, National, the Civil Rights Act of 1964. In this state? Uh, yeah, actually, in this state. <laughs> are there black-only bathrooms out there I'm unaware of, or white-only bathrooms? Nah. Right. A lot of work was done in this state. Fuck you, your, your face is small. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video, guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to Charlie Cook. Pardon me for how I pronounced it before. I call him Charlie Kick, not Kick. I love kicking asses. Um, today, we're going to be checking out him. He, Charlie, Charlie Cook schools college limp who says segregation is good. Okay, let's check this out. Hi, uh, to address your previous assertion that uh, race means nothing, critical race theory is not being taught in schools. It is a academic theory that's pretty much delegated only to higher academia. They are not teaching it in schools. Your explanation of it was an oversimplification. You address the real history behind it, unlike most people. And why, if race means nothing, does it affect our history? Say, 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre, why is there such evil history with something that supposedly means nothing? Okay, so first of all, you're wrong. It is being taught in elementary schools. I'll give you an example. Not only is it being taught, it's being enforced. So in Denver, there is a playground where they say white families not allowed. Would you support that? That seems like a ridiculous edge case. So I'll give you another example. Actually, in the National Education Association's training manual, which is the largest teacher union in the country, they had a seminar on how to teach critical race theory to kids. That sounds like it's in our schools, doesn't it? What, what that is, is it's literally just common sense. It's saying that this is real history. This is what has happened in the past. Right, so what- that matters. Okay, got it. So for example, you, would you say that black only dormitories is wrong? It certainly creates a sense of community. I don't see any problem with that. We have sororities. We have male-only dorms. Right. So racial differences are irrelevant and immaterial. Chromosomal differences actually do matter. But let me ask you a question. Are there differences between races? No, not biologically. Then why would we have different dormitories for races? Culture. Segregation is what you're arguing for, my friend. No, sir. No, sir. How, how is it not segregation to have blacks in their own dorm? You've just, you've just pigeonholed me, essentially. You've essentially just like, you've distracted from my original argument. No, no, you, you did that to yourself. Let's yeah. reemphasize. So, okay, so okay. Ibram X. Kendi argues, who is one of the leading thinkers of critical theory, race theory, discrimination today to atone for discrimination of yesterday. We have black-only graduation ceremonies at Columbia University, black-only dormitories across the country, for example, at Western Washington University. Can you join me today in saying black-only dormitories are evil, wrong, and it's segregation? You still haven't answered my question about why does this history simultaneously mean nothing? Well, I'm happy to also, answer that, but the fact you're dodging segregation in America, why is that? I'm arguing against, I'm arguing against segregation. So you're against black-only dormitories? Yes. Well, you said it was a force of community, and then for your not for critical race That's theory. That's an option. We have choice. Oh, so you could choose to segregate. That's, that's a pigeonhole. You're what do you think of white-only dormitories? What? Would you support white-only dormitories? Everybody has a choice. So I think white-only and black-only anything is evil and wrong. It's segregation. That's why I hate critical theory and critical race theory, because when it's Which put in practice... When it's put in practice, you start to discriminate people based on race. So we're now south of the Mason-Dixon line in North Carolina. We did a lot of work to get rid of segregation in this country. Why are you trying to bring it back? What work? Um, the, Nation the Civil Rights Act of 1964. In this state? Uh, yeah, actually in this state. <laughs> are there black only bathrooms out there I'm unaware of or white only bathrooms? Nah. Right. A lot of work was done in this state. Fuck you, your, your face is small. 
Well, thanks for being here. They always go to insults when they lose the argument. God bless you, my friend. Guys, the, the students who came there, right, is very disrespectful. Uh, I, I don't take students like that. I, I, I don't pity them. Because number one, you came there with a debate. It's, it's an opportunity for, this is a turning point to USC. It's, it's an opportunity for you to see Charlie, number one, and also say your feedback about what you think about segregation. He just don't accept that what he's talking about is segregation itself. Charlie is giving you a clearer picture of what you mean by what you're saying. He's even giving you an example in history and you still don't accept it. And at the end of the debate, you are insulting him. Like, why? He said, he said the F word and also said his face is small. Like, why the insult? This is a debate. If he wins in the debate, you move on. You don't have to insult him to prove your point. You are, you are proving no points. It, it just proved that he's rude and it, it, he's, he's ignorant. It's really, really ignorant. This was beautiful to watch. Uh, I love how Charlie handled this respectfully. He respectfully the insult. He also handled it respectfully without any abusive words or harsh comments. The, his entire point of view is that they are not teaching um, students, younger generation, about the bad that have been committed in history to black people, which is bad, which is wrong because they are trying to teach them. They are teaching them the history of what the whites did to them, what did to black, the slavery and everything, what the white people did to the black people, which itself, we all know what happened in the history is bad. Uh, his whole point of view that they are not teaching the younger generation what the white people did. They are teaching every single one of us. They are teaching everybody. They are teaching the younger generations about what happened in history. They are teaching them. He, he is just not aware of it. That is as simple as that. But him using the hash, the F word for Charlie was disrespectful. So comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch. In my bed, I got scales on